Today we are gathered together to witness and to bless the joining together of Daniel and Danica in holy matrimony. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It is a union that is founded on love. Daniel and Danica, as you are facing each other, please join each other's hands. I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. I'd like you to think about the hands that you are holding. These are the hands of your best friend, holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and to work together as you build your future together. And so here you are today to say your marriage vows to one another. It is important that you both understand that the vows that you are about to make cannot be made lightly, but with a great deal of consideration and respect for each other. Din, you said from the start you always have the best and the worst luck. And here we stand today with one more incredible example of that. A beautiful scene behind us, a beautiful dress, two beautiful babies, and then there's this chump in a purple tie standing in front of you. The chump that knew from the first time I saw you, even if you don't remember me, that there was something different about you, something that made you stand out. What I didn't know in that moment is what made you different was that you were going to be the only girl I'm only on the first page. <laughs> I ever fell so hard for that there was no way of getting up without you. The only girl I got down on one knee for, the only girl that I knew that I could stand in front of God, our family, friends, and babies, and pledge to love unconditionally for the rest of our incredible lives. Dan, you and the babies have brought a level of love, happiness, and warmth into my life that I didn't even know was possible. And there will never come a day that I don't thank God for moving the stars to bring our paths together. Even though I may not be the best there is, I'm pretty all right. And I plan to work every day to be the best that I can for you and for our family. Now hold out your pinky dummy. Dan, I promise to love you unconditionally and uncompromising every day for the rest of our lives. To remember that every day with you and the babies is a blessing. I promise to be your biggest fan, your lifeline, your support, your strength when you're weak, your shoulder to lean on, your ear to listen when you just need me to be there. I promise to talk to you about everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all the beautiful, to treat you with an ever-ending respect that you deserve as my wife, my lover, my best friend, and my partner in crime. To put the needs of our family first, take on anything life throws at us with you right by my side. I promise that no matter what, you are my person for life, and I will never stop proving that to you. I promise to never stop learning you and how to be a better me for you. <laughs> Gavin, Riley, from the very beginning, mom told, I told mom that for me to be able to do this, I wanted to work to be dad from the very start of this journey and to leave it up to you guys how you viewed me. But that way, I would never look at you or treat you guys any different or as anything other than my babies. I know I don't always get it right, and there's no argument that the mama is always gonna be better, <laughs> but I promise to never stop trying to be better for you guys, to never stop learning you and how to make your lives better. I promise that I will never stop loving you unconditionally as my babies. Babe. I also promise to bring you ice packs, toilet paper because you didn't check, <laughs> give you massages, Snuggles, unlimited kisses, steal your pillow, take over your side of the bed, and do everything I can to make your life better and your days easier until we're old and dead. Baby, because you don't like when I call you Daniel. I can't believe that we are here. As I sit here trying to write my vows, I'm struggling not because I'm at a loss of words, but because all my words seem inadequate when I'm trying to explain my love for you. I love you more than I love myself, and there's simply not enough words to describe that. So I'm going to do my best because our love story is one from the books. I believe God, my dad, and the universe contributed to all the stars aligning to help us see this amazing friendship we started out with, well, after I decided I liked you, was so much more than just the awesome buddies we have become. 
It felt like overnight, you went from being my confidant, silly laugh until it hurts best friend, to my everything. And I want to thank you for that friendship first. It has already helped us get through some really hard times, and I know it will continue when life inevitably throws more. We are so blessed for the foundation our friendship has laid for us, for our love to grow on, and I'm so thankful for that. I will never forget the look in your eyes, October 10, 2016, when you promised me this was forever for you, ring pop in hand. I was laying in that hospital bed physically broken and unsure of everything in my life, but I giggled and took that ring pop because you were the one thing I wasn't unsure about. Our fun, spontaneous, brand new relationship was dead and stopped dead in its tracks, and you never left my side. You came up with plans and solutions for every worry. There was no hesitation, no second guessing yourself. The weight of the world was on my shoulders and you picked it up and showed me I didn't have to carry it alone. And, I'll, and every day since, I've never felt alone in this crazy world. Your love for me has changed my life and your love for Riley and Gavin leaves me in awe. The relationship and bond you have with them makes my heart explode with happiness, gratitude and love that they get to look up to you as their dad. You are our home and adventure, our love and our strength. You give a whole new meaning to selfless. You are such a tender, loving, hardworking, silly, intelligent man that I promise to love unconditionally and hold heartily for the rest of my life. I promise to always encourage you, respect you, comfort you, and laugh with you. I promise to share my pillow and my second from last bite of food. I promise to be patient when you frustrate me and always forgive no matter what, but please stay away from the laundry. <laughs> I promise to do my best to give more than I take and never keep score. I promise to be true to who you are, true to you and honest no matter what. I promise to hold the umbrella when, when the storm gets so rough that dancing in the rain doesn't work. I promise to never, to never stop arguing about who loves who more, which we know is me, but I will always meet in the middle with just as much. Life is full of hard choices and decisions, but being your wife is the easiest decision I've ever made. And I know my dad is looking down today proud of who I've chose to spend the rest of my life with. I love you so much. Daniel, do you take Danica to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. I, Daniel, take you, Danica, to be my wife. I, Daniel, take you, Danica, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Danica, do you take Daniel to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, honor him, comfort him, and keep him, and forsaking for all of all others, to be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Perfect. Then you can please repeat for me. I, Danica, take you, Daniel. I, Danica, take you, Daniel. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Danica, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. With. To share my life with. Daniel, I give you this ring. Daniel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder, and as a reminder that I have chosen you, that I've chosen you to be the one, to be the one to share my life, mm -hmm. to share my life. <laughs> Daniel and Danica, you had made your marriage vow to one another. You had sealed your vows with the giving and receiving of your wedding rings. So now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce your husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride.